Hey guys, how are you doing today? This is Joan. Welcome back to my channel. And I got a new coloring book at Walmart today. And it was 1118. It is called Mermaids in Wonderland by Marcus Chin. A coloring and puzzle solving adventure for all ages. And I love the cover. It has the color and the copper foil. It's just beautiful, as is the book. So here is, I have to move something out of the way. Here is the inside of the front page. And you can color this. This is, you know, like regular coloring paper. And your cover sheet, face sheet, whatever. You can color this too. And so this book is not perforated. It has nice bright white thick paper. I mean it's not anything like watercolor paper but it's it's a good um, texture. Nice and smooth. And here it says Welcome to Mermaid Wonderland. And here's where it explains the problem solving. Uh, five gifts waiting for you in Wonderland. Find them by locating the correct number of magical key lettered keys hidden within the five groups of drawings on the following pages. Collect all the keys and unscramble the letters to solve the riddle to collect the gift that will help you on the next leg of your journey. So here are the keys. And I have to say, I think this is the first coloring book I've seen where the pages are numbered, and I kind of like that. Because if you want to do a color along, um, or a buddy color, then you can just say, go to this book and page number whatever. This is so pretty. He also has a fairy one, and I saw flip through for that, but I really like this one better. Aren't these beautiful? I couldn't get my camera up any higher. My phone is what I'm filming this on. So here's one of the keys. Just happy little sea plants. I don't know, this might not be so easy to get into the into the spine, but isn't that pretty? If you like seashells, coloring seashells, you have a lot of fun with that one. She has rollers in her hair. Fun. Some of these I would probably just do the one side. I don't know that I'd be real interested in that, but that's the beauty of coloring books is that you can color what you want. Here's another one with a riddle. And this book, I don't know, you know, I got it at Walmart and the edges here are a little, it's like they got bent, but I don't care. What difference does it make? It's a coloring book. I suppose I could have asked for some money off, but it was instant gratification. I've ordered three more coloring books from Amazon that will be coming. And then these are like the, the uh, kites. So I ordered um, Romantic Country, the third one, 
that's my favorite and then I got the uh, what's it called the gorgeous the horror book and then I'm, no, I can't remember what the third one was there's another one of those keys so this has a lot of pictures I love her in her bathtub balloon that's fun towards the end of the book they have a lot of black backgrounds oh this page is beautiful the ballerina mermaids is it Toulouse Lautrec who did painting reminds me of that is that who it was jeez I'm lacking in my art history I don't remember Horse. Some kind of a crab and a lobster. A lot of detail in some of them. And then in this one, I mean, it has detail, but you can easily do a wash on that or use your water markers, water based markers. And look at this a carousel. Oh my gosh, I just love this. I'm sorry, I'm going to move that. I keep hitting it. I just love this. Look at her braids. And a bunch of fish. There's another key. Just blowing the conch shell. There's a trident. Crabs, really neat. Whoop. Starfish. Here's some more of the quiz. And here's where we start getting into the black backgrounds. Another little quiz. I hope you can see this okay. I don't know why my camera mount thing won't work better for me, but it isn't. But this could be really cool to do with gel pens. And I watched someone's video on how she blends her gel pens with some glycerin. So I got some glycerin at Walmart today. It was $3.88. And that's how you can blend gel pens. Look up videos. I don't have any videos on it. And look at this. Oh my God. I just love the fact that it's mermaids and it has... A lot of um, Asian influence, the Chinese dragon. Sorry, this is my craft mat underneath that's making that sound. Look at that lionfish. That reminds me of Dee Dee's lionfish that she did. And just the sea plants, ocean plants, and fish. And very cool. Look at that. I like coloring the people more than the fish, I guess. The shells. Look at that. How beautiful. Look at him. Having a cocktail. Cocktail hour. So I tell you, my Walmart is has better coloring book selection than Michael's does. I'm getting really fed up with knuckles. Oh, that's so pretty. There she is looking in her mirror. Imagine using a lot of bright jewel tones with these pictures. Here's another ballet or dance. I guess it would be a ballet. Ooh, she looks like she's a, a Latin dancer, maybe. Oh, look at this. It is so beautiful. 
Look at that tail. I just love that one. I love her face. She's so sweet looking. a magical sea pen to guide you through the maze to reach the secret door that leads you out of Wonderland. How cute. Come back soon. And this was published in 2017, so it's a new book. And here's about the illustrator right here, Marcus Chin. Um, he lives in Brooklyn, New York. And there's the back page in the black. The front page, I believe, was white. And then here are Fairies in Wonderland. Um, I'm not sure. And, oh, these are the postcards, and that's the Fairies in Wonderland. So let's just check the front, because that has the black. I believe the front was white. Yeah, it was. So a lot of really cool options, you guys. So uh, if you're interested, check it out. It's probably available on Amazon. I got mine at Walmart. And I think it's a beautiful book, and I can't wait to start working in it. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. Leave me any questions below, and I will just see you in my next video. Bye!